Hey y'all, it's Zach, the legal tech advisor here at Lawyerist. Today, I'd like to talk to you about getting to your documents within your law practice management system. Specifically, I'd like to talk to you about My Case's new My Case Drive, which allows you to access your documents as if they're on your local computer. Recently, I sat down with Kylan Johnson, and he walked me through the functionality that they've put into this system. Have a look and see what you think. Hi, I'm Kylan Johnson. I'm the product manager for My Case Drive here at My Case. And uh, what I'm going to show you today is, is uh, our new, uh, new feature within, advanced, within the My Case Advanced here called My Case Drive. And really the problem that we're trying to solve here is, is uh, My Case as an LPMS is really the system of record uh, for our users, for our law firm users. And mm -hmm. unfortunately, um, law firms are often managing files, digital files in multiple places. So right. they'll have some saved on their desktop. They'll have some saved in a document management solution, maybe on a shared server. And then they're taking those files, they're working on those files wherever that is, and then they're porting those in and uploading those into my case to be that system of record. And so mm -hmm. that creates a lot of double work, um, often uh, at the administrative level. Right. And so we're trying to cut down on that work uh, with, with my case drive. So uh, it makes it easy for you to move files into my case, but also enables you to edit files and keep keep versions and things like that within my case itself, not having to go outside. And so uh, I'm going to walk you through kind of kind of what that looks like, both within uh, mycase.com within the browser, mm -hmm. and then the utility my case drive that we've built. Okay, Kyle, and thanks thanks for showing me around here. Um, I have been excited to see my case drive here for for a couple of months. I I heard a little rumblings that it was coming out, and uh, have have been excited to to see exactly the inner workings here because it it sounds like you're saying that instead of editing and working on my my files on my computer on this other computer over you know all in these disparate areas, I'm just mm -hmm. doing this stuff within my case. So I I love to see this and. Uh, Let's go ahead and jump in if we can. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so I, I'm going to start with kind of the, the browser view here. Mm -hmm. And within my case, uh, you're going to get a listing of cases under the cases tab. And uh, what this, I'm just going to go into this first case here, ACAL v. Adams. Mm -hmm. And here uh, within the documents tab, you're going to see a series of folders and files that uh, as a, an attorney or a paralegal or, or anybody else has added to uh, this given case. Mm -hmm. And so uh, what my case drive enables you to do is see that exact same structure in terms of the folders and the files from your finder in Mac or file explorer in, in Windows. And so you can see here, I've got the same folders, same files that you saw over here. Mm -hmm. And if I want to add files very quickly to my case, uh, to my my case account, I don't need to go back into the browser and upload through that. I can use simple drag and drop technology. So okay. I've got here on my desktop, which is a very common use case, somebody that's got a, a word file and a PDF file and an image file. Mm -hmm. And let's just say, hey, we want to bring bring those files in. And within a matter of seconds, we will see, I'm gonna go back to the dashboard because this is a really cool view. We will see that those files are now being uploaded. Right, and right so now recent right, activity, yeah. Right, right now at recent activity, right? So that image, that PDF, and here in a second, it'll load up uh, and show the word. Now let's go back to that case and take a, take a look at that. So now we can see uh, the Word file, the PDF file, and the image file that I added, mm -hmm. okay? And so uh, one of the really cool things is, as I said, is you can uh, edit these documents as well. Um, so right from, again, right from the desktop, uh, if I wanna take, grab this Word file and open it up, you can see here, I've just got a test document here and I'm just gonna say this is a really, Great test document. <laughs> I'll save it. 
And so now that file is saved and I'll, I'll bring it up and show that that's saved here in my case drive. Mm -hmm. And then if we go over here, I'll just refresh my browser. And we'll now see we've actually got two versions of this document. We've got the original version, which I, I uploaded at the beginning, and now we've got the new version. And okay. I, can, I can download that right here, take a look at it and boom, it's, mm -hmm. it's been updated. And so that, that need to go into a different system or to save it to my desktop or something like that is all eliminated. I now can work right within uh, the My Case Drive utility and make sure that I've always, I've always got the latest version uh, mm -hmm. being populated within my case. Uh, go ahead. Yeah, and, and you know, I think version control is a, a difficult animal for a lot of attorneys, mm -hmm. because you know we've all throughout our our careers and and uh, academic careers and whatnot, we've had um, you know draft, second draft, fine, you know Zach Glazer draft, Zach Glazer mm -hmm. second draft, Zach Glazer final draft, Zach Glazer really final draft, Zach Glazer final final <laughs> draft. I mean it this time, and, yep. and you know, and we've all saved things that way, and then we you know I think we're all learning to use this version control and and recognizing you know v1 v2. What I like about this is that on my local computer, we're not um, we're not getting it mixed up. There's one file mm -hmm. there, mm -hmm. but then when I'm looking at it on on my case, then it says, okay, well, here's the most recent file. Here's the most recent version of this. But you can see that we've had four different versions. So if you're looking at a contract or something like that, you can say, okay, well, what was it when I sent it to them last time? Correct. Absolutely. Absolutely. So you kind of get the best of both worlds as mm -hmm. a result there. You're working from the latest version in my case drive, but you can look at your back versions um, uh, within uh, the my case browser. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. uh, another great thing here is the ability not just to drag files in, but to, to, to drag files where you need them within my case. So if this, doc, if this PDF or, or if this Word document was a uh, piece of discovery, I can move it into the discovery folder. Right. And now within Drive, I open it up. It's there. If I go back to the browser, as these files load, we'll see that Word document's no longer here mm -hmm. as a separate file. I go into Discovery, here it is. So I can really organize my files exactly how I want them right from the My Case Drive utility. And so right. that's, that's really powerful. So another great feature is that, that we have is the ability to add folders right from my case drive. So mm -hmm. here I can just right click, hit new folder. I'm just going to keep this titled untitled folder. I'm going to go back here to the browser, reload this. And so you can see here is. a new folder was added right there. And so now whether I want to do it from my case browser or I want to do it from my case drive, I can mm -hmm. now add files to that new folder that I've created. Right, right. Uh, a couple more things I want to show. So I want to show you can email files uh, directly from my case drive, which is really cool. So I'm going to go okay. into my email here and I'm going to attach and I can go right to my case drive cases. I'm going to bring up uh, uh, the case that we were working on. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to take that PDF file. I'm going to open that. And we can see it successfully attached there. I'm just going to email this over to myself. And boom, here it is. There's that test email. I got, got my file right there. So whether you want to share it you know, internally, whether you want to share it with an opposing counsel, with mm -hmm. somebody who's of counsel, a client, whoever, you now have the ability to just attach that file right from my case drive into the email and send it off. So it's a, another great mechanism for sharing as well. In addition to my case, obviously has a client portal in which you mm -hmm. can share as well. A uh, couple other uh, utilities or, or maybe one more I just wanted to show. Um, uh, you also have, obviously you have the ability to delete files as well. So mm -hmm. if for whatever reason you don't want this image file uh, anymore to be in here, you can move that to trash. And over here um, in my case browser, I be up, I'll refresh this. You will see there that the image is gone. 
Mm-hmm. So you have obviously have that, that ability to delete things if you added something accidentally or, or what have you. Right. And it, it deletes across the entire ecosystem and, and your, it is deleted from your assistance. Um, my case instance, it's deleted from, you know, from all those places. Um, the, my case drive, it looks like we're, um, we're going into that through a network. So I don't imagine that it, it's a different my case drive for me than it is for my assistant. We're all digging into the same pot from our, our separate computers as well, right? Well, the only, the only thing about that is, is that within my case, we have permission, right? So certain, uh, if you want, not, a, not all of our users do, but if you mm-hmm. want to restrict the access to certain cases, to certain employees, okay. you can do that. Okay. And so, so if I'm you know, a, a managing partner, I wanna see everything, I, I have my access. If I just want my, my paralegals to see maybe one practice area or two, uh, I can restrict that as well. And so my, my case drive in terms of the, the, the cases and the files that I'm going to see mm-hmm. are, are based on those permissions that, are, that are, are made within my case. Okay. Okay. But if I, let's just say, for example, that myself and my assistant have the same permissions, we, we don't have different folders or folder structure or anything like that we're digging in the same thing even though it feels like it's a local folder on my sure sure yeah it feels yeah it feels like it's just it's on your computer but it's not if Mm -hmm. if if we were you know sitting here side by side and we had two computers going you would see me dragging and dropping things in moving things around and yes it would be the same instance Mm -hmm. okay uh, you know, a couple of other things I want to note uh, is uh, that it, unlimited storage in my case drive. So okay. my case uh, ac- across the board has unlimited storage for for files, and mm-hmm. that is true of of my case drive as well. Um, and then I showed you, you know, Word, Word, PDF, image; those are really the the most common uh, file types. But mm-hmm. uh, we also support many other file types, including video and audio as well. So okay. you can move a lot of things into my case drive. It is accessible from your desktop. It is also accessible uh, from my case online as well. Right, right. Okay. Um, and it, it looks like you obviously in this, the uh, my case web portion, you can tell mm-hmm. who things are shared with, when I, you can see last updated, all the stuff that you would, that you would think that you would get from uh, the, the my case portal or the my case area as well. Absolutely. Absolutely. So I showed you earlier a little bit of the versioning. Um, mm-hmm. But here, obviously, yes, you can see, you know, when I added that file, when it was last updated, you can take, you know, various actions uh, related to those files as well, right from within the browser, if, mm-hmm. if you so choose. Okay. So how difficult is the my case drive to set up? Because, uh, you know, frankly, it looks like a like a VPN or a network drive or something like that. Mm-hmm. Is it something that is that is kind of more click and play or do I need an IT staff in order to connect it? No, no, it's actually very simple. So um, the experience, uh, let's, let's take Windows users first. Mm-hmm. Um, you see here this download and install button. Um, uh, you can do it, you can download uh, my case drive right from, uh, right from mycase.com okay. in multiple places. This is the most easy one. Uh, it's also available here under integrations and apps. And you can see there it's, it's downloading to my computer. I happen to be on a Mac, but it's the mm-hmm. same experience. And I'm essentially showing you the Mac process, uh, but we have a MyCase desktop uh, card here under integrations and apps. You hit that download button, the same thing happens. Another great thing for Windows users specifically though, is uh, we have MyCase desktop available on the Windows app store. So you can download it right there, get it onto your machine, uh, basically, what it what it does is it walks you through a, a, a few installation steps. Um, you enter your MyCase username and password, and then, like magic, you see uh, local host come up under uh, under locations, mm-hmm. and then you see your MyCase drive, and then you get access to your cases. Um, so it's it's very easy to to set up once you've uh, subscribed to to the MyCase uh, advanced tier. Mm-hmm. Okay. And I guess that's the thing that I, I want to kind of make sure that we, we point out. This is, uh, um, you guys have gone to where you have some really advanced things in what you call the the advanced tier. And this is one of those um, mm-hmm. portions, one of those functionalities that is in that kind of secondary, re- really, really souped up tier that you guys have uh, up there. 
Yeah, yeah, and and so uh, we we've recently gone to three to a three tier uh, product suite, and mm -hmm. so this what we're seeing here in my in my case drive is part of our advanced tier. Um, we are adding uh, additional features and functionality to that over. Uh, well, forever, but specifically over the course of the next six months or so, the rest of this year, um, those who are following uh, following my case will see that we are going to be continuing to add things here, and and um, and so yeah, it's it's been uh, it's been really great. Uh, we've gotten a lot of great feedback about about the new packaging that we have and, and the new product tiers, and and some great feedback here uh, on my case drive here in the last couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. Is there a way for people to demo that advanced tier? If somebody, you know, it's watching yeah. is, you know, in the middle, in, in a middle tier and they want to see how this works and feel it out. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, mycase.com is very easy to uh, sign up for a demo. Mm -hmm. uh, just enter your email address here. Um, as well, you can contact us through mycase.com. Uh, we happily uh, run you through a demo of all of the features and functionality that we have at MyCase, including MyCase Drive. Okay. Okay. Fantastic. Well, Kylan, thank you. Um, thanks for showing me around the MyCase Drive. I am very excited about this because I think that it's, you know, you guys have really been thoughtful about how you're approaching this. You know, the the document management is something a lot of LPMS systems are really trying to dive into. And I, I think you guys have done a really good job walking a balance of usability and kind of uh, technical robustness to it as well. So, um, and, and again, if people want to see more about my case, they can always go to mycase.com. They can get a, a free demo. Um, they can get a free trial. Um, and I, I know that you guys are always happy to, to show people around the system. And this is not, um, th this is one area of my case. So people, people yeah. will want to go see a lot of, of what you guys have, have been doing. And, um, I, you know, I saw this week that you guys are growing still with the mm -hmm. uh, acquisition of docket wise. So Absolutely. that's fantastic. And, and that's one of the things I always like to highlight as well is that my case is not, um, getting, it's certainly not getting smaller. You know, <laughs> the functionality is building and building and building. Uh, well, Kylan, again, thank you for, for walking me through it. And uh, we'll, we'll see you next time on, uh, um, at the next demo. Thank you so much.